Hi, this is Funda Furstenberg and welcome to uh, my favorite layout video. This is the third video that I'm making and I am just going to show you nine uh, layouts that is basically uh, favorites of the last couple of months or years. So I always try to grab something from before 2012 and I have lots of bins and actually this is very fun for me to do this, these videos and I'm going to try to do them every other Monday or so. I'm not going to promise but we'll see how it goes. So this first layout is a layout that I created for the craftsy.com class and it's a silkscreen technique that I teach on there and you can find a link on my blog where I'll give you a link to the class for $15 off of the price. So you can get it basically for 50% off. Number one, I love the idea of the tree. And then these little embellishments is a wonderful way just to get rid of some of the embellishments in your stash. And I love to cluster um, embellishments on a page. And this is just an example of that. It's a very fun page and it was super fun to make as well. The second page is also one of my favorites from my art and design workshop that you can also find the link of in on the blog. And, and you can see I work with these little light bulbs that I created a cut file with and all the downloads are available as freebies in the class if you buy the workshop. I love the, the use of the yellow paint with yellow tape and I think there's some acrylic paint watercolors and washi that I used on this one layout. So a very fun layout. I just love the yellow. I still have this love for yellow, using yellow on a layout. This one is a process video that you can find a link of also on the blog. And I use cut files that I created for the summer bundle and you can find these cut files in the Samba bundle and again just a fun page where I use Tull to soften the layout a little. Um, here you can see a little bit better. And again a cluster of embellishments just to create that focal point that just bring your eye into the layout. But a fun way to get rid of again of just little embellishments these are by Maggie Holmes. I just absolutely love the birds. But the cut file really provides a lace-like quality to the background, especially because of the tone on tone. Just a fun, fun layout. This one was one of my first process pages that I made for iHeart Studio. And it's a cut file that I created that works as a stencil. And you can find it, um, also the link to the video on on the blog and I used molding paste to to give the dimension of the words and then I placed the same stencil over again and I spray painted it with gold and this is a wonderful technique that you can use on your layout. A very fun page, one of those where the text becomes the background to the page. This layout is one that I recently created for my brand new Art to Heart workshop and I'm super excited about this workshop. I actually worked on some new content last week and I want to make this the most beautiful class that I've ever made. And I think because of the content that's so dear to my heart, because it's a faith-based journey, I really want to make layouts that reflect the beauty of the content. And I've only made eight layouts so far, so this is the first month. Um, it's a 12-month workshop, so you will get new content every month for the next 12 months. And it's really substantial content. I try to make the videos and the process and the, and the layouts really a little bit more complex um, than I've than I've done on the, on just on my YouTube videos. But um, I was thinking the other day that my brand is really about making beautiful layouts. 
they're not super practical, they're not really everyday life stories that we tell. Um, my brand is more of beautiful layouts and I really want to expand into that more and more and more and to see if I can make the most beautiful work of my life for especially for this workshop. And this is just one of them where um, we we were talking about dreams and here you can see, I'm just going to zoom in, um, how I use thread on the little arrows and just the layering of, of layers which is really, really I think significant for the content. So you can find the link on my blog as well. This is a layout from 2013 and a very fun one that I did for Dear Lizzie and there's a process video on YouTube for this one which I also link on my blog. Everything is linked on my blog if you figure that out by now. Um, uh, just a fun one again where you can use basically one whole sticker sheet on, on one layout or a lot of the stickers uh, on a layout and just layering them and creating this center which is a square and then just frazzling it out a tiny bit. A very fun layout, one of my favorites. And then because it's fall I want to show you two layouts that I created for fall last year and you can find uh, the process video again linked on my blog and then I use these cut files that's available on iHeart Studio and I basically um, painted them and you know wrote on them or drew on them with white so a very fun layout to watch and I love the progression of the colors and it also shows the progression of fall how it starts with greens and then the yellows and the oranges and then it turns to brown and dark you know and the so it's a very fun page to make. Painting leaves are always fun. Right, second to last layout that I want to show you is this one that I also created for fall last year and you can find these cut files also on iHeart Studio. I love using leaves and little squares are one of my favorite things to use. I, I find that if I'm an have low mojo going on a square layout always infuses me with creativity so you can you can see I simply cut these out with watercolor paper and then lay them on little squares colored with gelatos very fun you can watch the video again if you haven't seen it and then the last layout is a fall layout that I made in 2011 for October afternoon and Maybe it's just because I miss my my baby girl. She's off to university in Saskatoon. Um, but it's a wonderful way throwing back what looking at um, photographs of my kids when they were little. And you know, I'm a photographer, and the one thing that I keep telling families over and over again whenever I do a shoot for them is the currency and the value of your photos is really only going to matter five and ten years from now. It's going to become absolutely priceless memories. So maybe that this is just a reminder to take more photos, to capture um, your family or your loved ones in every stage of their lives and, and just to cherish uh, those photos because they are really, really worth a lot more in future than they are today. So yeah, that's that's um, it for this little segment. Thank you so much for watching. If you want me to make more of these videos, I would love to hear your thoughts. Just leave me a comment. Until next Monday, where I will be back with a new art journaling video.